Are you intimidated by making omelets? Well, fear no more. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Rose Oatley, and today we're going to be making a delicious omelet. To get started, we're going to be cutting and dicing a small piece of onion. You really don't eat much. We just want to give it a little bit of flavor. I'm also going to be slicing two medium to large mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you can try spinach or your favorite veggie. I'm going to go ahead and chop up a green onion for my garnishing later. In a small bowl, we want to crack two eggs. And just a quick tip, when you're cracking them, crack them on the counter or somewhere else, not on your bowl so you don't accidentally get shells in there. For fluffy eggs, you can add a little bit of milk. I'm only adding one tablespoon today. We'll spice them up with some salt and pepper to your taste. Now you want to whisk everything together with a whisk or a fork. Moving on to our pan, I'm going to be using a medium-sized pan. This is probably about a 10 inch or so. And I'm going to be adding one and a half tablespoons of butter. Now if you're trying to keep it really healthy, you can skip the butter and just add virgin olive oil or your favorite oil. I have my heat set at about a medium to medium high right now and we want to go ahead and add our veggies. I'm going to add just my onions and mushrooms and we'll reserve the green onions for later. For your spices, we just need salt and pepper and this is to your taste. Let's give this a mix. We want to make sure we saute our mushrooms. We don't want to put raw mushrooms in our omelet. All right, it'll only take a few minutes. They'll get tender and soft just like this. Once they're sauteed, we want to temporarily transfer them to a bowl. I'm going to put them on my board here. I'm going to switch my temp back to a low heat at a number two. And we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of butter and get this melted. While my butter is melting, I'm going to go ahead and give my eggs a quick whisk since they've been sitting here for a little while. All right, let's go ahead and add our mixture in here. You want to let it sit for just a little bit and then you'll start noticing the outer edges turn white. I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do. You want to start pushing the outer edges in and this is just going to allow your egg to cook evenly. I don't know if you notice sometimes you end up with a runny base right in the center. Well this is going to help with that and don't worry about it. You're not going to end up with scrambled eggs even though it may look like it at first but you will end up with a nice even cooked base. Now if you don't like doing it like this, that's okay. You can just let it cook on its own on low heat. It'll just take a little bit longer. I know sometimes people don't like to make omelets because they fear that they're going to break. Just follow these steps guys. I hope it really helps you out here. Let me know how it turns out below. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and raise my temp up to a number four and let it cook a little bit longer. It's all about patience here guys. Just let it cook slowly. Once you have a nice even base with no hose, you want to go ahead and add your mushrooms and reserving a few to use later as a topping. I'm also going to be adding some cheese. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese here. We'll add some on top. All right, so now we want to take one side with a spatula and fold it over just like this. Then we'll fold the other side in as well. All right, I'm gonna let my cheese melt for just a little bit. Since I like my eggs nice and toasted, I'm gonna go ahead and raise my temp up to a number six. I want the cheese to continue melting, so I wanna flip it over. So I'm gonna grab this bigger spatula here and just kind of give it a quick flip. There we go. I'm gonna let it sit for just a few seconds. Now again, I like my eggs nice and toasted, so if you don't like your eggs toasted, you can just keep it at a lower heat. About five more seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off. All right, we're ready to plate this and you could either use your spatula, but it's just easier to let it slide on your plate. At this point, you can add the rest of your mushrooms on top if you like. You can even add a few tomatoes instead. And then I'm gonna top it off with my green onions. You can serve it with your favorite fruit on the side and your favorite drink. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give this a thumbs up and let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. 
Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the site. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.